welcome to driver's room this is the festival of speed round one of season four and we are with tier two today we are coming from kyoto driving park the yamagiwa layout never really think i say that right but uh, so we're into season four which uh, with DRFS, if you followed us for a while, you know DRFS follows uh, our real life racing series. So for season four, we are going with the Ferrari Challenge. So we will be using the Group 3 Italian Crazy Horse of the Ferrari 458. Uh, also, with a new season comes some change. And uh, we have unfortunately had to say goodbye to Team Firestorm. They have not re-entered for season four. Uh, a few of them are focusing on some different things. Uh, so that team is uh, now gone. Might have made a comeback in some later seasons. But we have two new teams that have signed up in season four for the Ferrari Challenge. And we have a Wrecking Ball racing and a Honey Badger racing. Uh, only other one thing to note with the teams with any changes is uh, we've had a rebrand uh, team non plus ultra mark 2 and the very recognizable wd-40 livery uh, have rebranded to send it racing sponsored by fedex so keep an eye out for them on the grid so that's uh, all the news i really have for you uh, going into round one so let's head down to grid for the first grid walk of season four and see how the uh, new teams and new faces fared out against the original old guard and uh, their new machinery. On pole we have Captain O'Reilly on Racing Super Softs. Uh, on Honey Badger Racing's team debut, the founder of the team has grabbed pole position in the season opener. Uh, he made one independent entry uh, during Season 3, which was the last round. Uh, that was enough for him to decide to start his own team and take a full season entry for Season 4. Uh, so if this is a sign of things to come, Honey Badger and the CPT already could be a force to reckon with. It might shake up the uh, existing order. We'll see how they get on through the season, but a great start today, grab and pull. In second, we've got Muller on Racing Supersofts. Uh, Muller is a former Tier 1 driver for Team Pegasus. Uh, he was relegated into Tier 2 this season, uh, but showing his pedigree of a Tier 1 driver, grabbed a second spot on today's grid. Uh, he finished fifth overall in last season, and uh, this should show that he should be able to get some great results during Season 4 for Team Pegasus. In third, we have the second Honey Badger Racing car of Jason on Racing Supersoft. So after Team Firestorm called it a day, Jason uh, signed up with a Honey Badger Racing. Uh, he had a fantastic season three, finishing third overall, uh, but two no point races uh, cost him the runner up spot. Uh, so he only finished two points behind second place. In third, we've got Kudio on Racing Super Softs. Uh, Kudio is then in fourth today. He'll be looking to forget Season 3 and uh, take Season 4 by the scruff of the neck, which uh, no post qualifying he is uh, doing already. He missed three races on a bounce, uh, but took huge points in Round 8 uh, to build momentum for Season 4. So he should be a one to watch this season. Uh, he's also a member of JB Lads, uh, I think that's a livery from another race series he drives his car in, so uh, we'll let him off that one for round one. In fifth, we've got Boss on Racing Supersofts. The mastermind of DRFS finished fourth overall last season. Despite missing two rounds, he consistently took good points in the races that he entered. Uh, with tyre management quite key in this Ferrari, uh, Boss is very good on his tyres, so he could be holding a little ace up his sleeve. We'll see how that pans out for him as the season goes on. In sixth, we've got Bullet on Racing Softs. The team Sega driver is another former Tier 1 driver. Uh, 
and finished ninth overall last season. He missed three races, but uh, took decent points in uh, the races he was in. He is the first driver we've seen on the racing softs. Uh, so either he's struggling with tire wear or he's uh, got a strategy which differs from the guys ahead. We'll see how it pans out during the race. In seventh, we've got a new face of the RFS in Ricky J. He's on racing super softs. So Ricky's a new driver and he's in with one of the new teams of Wrecking Ball Racing uh, in season four. Uh, Ricky's a driver that uh, races in a few of our other series and has been uh, steadily improving all the time during his uh, time in season three and beyond. Um, showing by his starting position today, starting in the middle of the pack. Uh, see if he can lead the charge for Wrecking Ball Racing today. In 8th we've got Jamie D on Racing Super Softs. Uh, Jamie had a steady season 3, finished mid-table in ninth. He showed some signs of his former self and his former pace last season. So we'll be uh, looking to see if he can bring more of that out in season 4. In ninth we've got Jules on Racing Softs. Jules' uh, previous season was plagued with connection issues. Um, only ended up finishing half the races that he entered in season three, but uh, still finished 12th overall, so we got some decent points out of those races. Um, now he has his tech issues uh, sorted. We'll be looking to see uh, Jules put on a good charge for this season, um, but he's starting down at ninth today, so uh, we'll see how he gets on coming through the field. In 10th, we've got myself, Craig P, on racing the Super Soft. Not a great season for myself in Season 3, uh, suffering with confidence and some driving issues. Signed with Wrecking Ball Racing for Season 4, so hopefully uh, we can refine some form and uh, get back to fighting with guys up and down the field. In 11th we've got JC and the new rebranded Send It Racing team. Finished 8th last season. Um, he's a pretty up and down season but he'll be looking uh, for season 4 to be more up than down and if it is more up and down then keep an eye out for JC because he's a very quick driver when he's on it. Uh, although today starting down 11th uh, unfortunately doesn't seem to be uh, Starting off the way he maybe would have wanted. In 12th, we've got Kenny on Racing Super Softs. Kenny is the last of our former Tier 1 drivers, uh, dropping down to Tier 2 for Season 4. Uh, he had a steady Season 3, finishing uh, with a win in Round 8. Uh, we must not have a handle maybe on the Ferrari just yet, starting down in 12th. Uh, looks like a tough start to Season 4 for this Neon Knight. And talking of Neon Knights, we've got uh, Nightmare Racer in 13th on Racing Super Softs. Runner-up last season in Tier 2 for Nightmare Racer. He was only outclassed by uh, the runaway champion, Kimaru. Uh, starting in 12th today, you know, he started in 13th, sorry, today. Uh, really looks like he's uh, struggling, but it could be a setup issue. Because uh, both Neon Knights cars starting well down the grid. Uh, see if they can make their way through during the race. But things are not looking great at the start of Season 4. For our reigning three times champions, Neon Knights. And in 14th, we've got a scary guy on Racing Super Softs. Finished 17th in Season 3. Uh, a bit of a nightmare uh, for scary with connection issues. Um, he is from America and just doesn't never seems to get a stable connection for some reason with us. Uh, but a race for them in a few other series uh, where he gets a stable connection and got some good battles with him. So hopefully he can get those things sorted out and uh, really show the guys in the RFS what he can do. And last but not least, in 15th we've got Munro on Racing Super Soft. Sorry, Racing Softs. Uh, it was 13th overall for Munro uh, last season and his improvement journey just keeps continuing. You can constantly see a little bit of his racing getting better and better. 
Also, his never quit attitude, which should be an example to all, uh, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you actually see the points for season three, that attitude really helped him pick up points through the season, helping him finish uh, 13th. So, we'll see how he gets on and what improvements he can make in season four. So that's your grid for round one of DRFS season four, tier two. Let's see how the guys get on when the lights go out for the first time. So we get ready for round one to get underway as the revs start to build. And they're away. Riley getting a quite a slow start. He's under pressure immediately from his teammate Jason, but he manages to get a good second phase and keep the lead. Everyone streaming around the first corner. Jason just running wide there on the grass. Shocker that he's out there. <laughs> so getting very tight. There's four or five cars wide there coming through the third corner. Everybody made it through safely though. Ricky is up in seventh. Look at this just train of cars coming down through. Drop down to 11th. Can he aim behind me? As you see, oh, scary guy and uh, nightmare getting it together at the back. Oh, can he just give me what? There's highest cars everywhere. Let's jump back and see what's going on here coming down the straight there. We're jumping on board with Boss here. He's got bumped a little bit there by Ricky. When he got hit by his teammate Jamie from Pegasus. Shoots him across the road. You see myself across the road there on the other side. Bosch has got collected by a couple of people. That's unfortunate for him. He's got a lot of work to do now. We'll jump back and see what happened to myself. From bottom of myself now as we come down the hill. Bosch just comes across. Put the brakes on to avoid Boss. And unfortunately somebody collects me from the back. Just a byproduct of the other incident, I think. I think that's it. I've had enough at that point. So, we're back with the leader, GPT O'Reilly. Muller in second. Oh, another big accident in the rear. Let's jump back and take a look at that. We're on board now with Jules as he comes towards the chicane. His bullet just gets. All out of shape, and so does. Oh! So does Jules, and then Jammy just annihilates Bullet in the side. Right, a messy first lap here for everybody in DRFS, but. Uh, round one jetters, I suppose, and the new machinery. So we'll run through the grid we we'll trying to do a second ago. We have CPT already out in the lead. Muller in second. Coolio now up in the third. Jason in fourth. JC up to fifth. Said he'd be one to watch. It's a great first lap for JC. Really made up some great ground. Uh, he started in. 11th, so fantastic opening lap for JC, making up six places. Jules now in sixth. Another driver to make a few places up. Nightmare in seventh. Bullet is now in sixth. Canny in ninth. Boss is in tenth. Jammy in eleventh. Monroe twelfth. Ricky thirteenth. Great move by Ricky into the chicane there. And scary guy in 14th. So, yeah, lost one driver myself. Craig P.
field just starting to spread out a little bit now. There's a couple of uh, one or two car groups. Uh, we're very early in the race. Uh, there's a format for the races hasn't changed. Still 30 minute races. So long way to go yet. But uh, field spread happening very quickly. I know there's a big lap here at uh, Kyoto Drive Park. I hate trying to say which version this is. <laughs> you can read it, it's on top of the screen. <laughs> Kudio is trying to pressure Muller as much as he can. Jason is pushing like mad behind him, fourth to catch back up with these. Really got that Ferrari dancing right on the edge. Not in the slipstream, he's decided to sit out across the other side of the track. That will hamper catching up slightly. See Jules now, he's broke away from the pack behind. He's trying to catch uh, Jason up. We seem to have lost JC. He's wondering what's happened to JC. He's not in the pack. Uh, Canny's made it up to 6th. Jamie in 7th. Nightmare is in 8th. Just having a massive moment there. But he gets it gathered back together. Ricky is going to come streaming past. Bullet now in 11th. Monroe in 12th, scary guy 13th, so we've lost JC as well. Ooh, alrighty with a lot of lag there. Hopefully that doesn't uh, affect his race, but it's very uh, laggy there from O'Reilly at the moment. Well, it's deaf. He looks to be catching. He's pulled away from Coolio now. Uh, gaps Tires squealing in a very odd fashion as his uh, lag issues seem to be continuing. Coolio definitely dropped back a bit now, but Jason hasn't really made any ground up on Coolio either. Jules just looks happy to uh, be in fifth place all by himself. <laughs> Kenny will be looking to uh, pressurize Jules and catch up. Neon Knights, the uh, three times champions. We have yellow flags ahead. Maybe just for Jason went a bit wide. He likes to push the limits on that uh, little chicane coming down at that straight. He may put that flag away, but there's a long way to go for the checkered flag. It's being prepared um, and it's uh, being very early. <laughs> having a great race now in eight. There's a uh, boss in ninth in the familiar Pegasus livery. We've seen 
nightmares happening to the pets. Bullard must have been in the pits there that last lap. See Monroe's gonna dive into the pits. Front order hasn't really changed, it's uh, really just spread out a little bit. The mullet is catching O'Reilly, but uh, it's very slowly. If he can get up on the back of him, uh, hopefully, if I see Jules has jumped into the pits there just on the graphic. Uh, if Mullet can catch up and put him under pressure, he could steal away from, uh, first place here, but uh, for Riley's having those lag issues, it's very difficult to overtake somebody's lagging. You're not quite sure where to put the car. Are they going to jump in front of you? Um, it's very unnerving. Coolio having a good race uh, in third. He's uh, in a bit of a land of his own now. Jason in fourth has a massive gap between him and uh, Canny now after Jules pitted behind him. Just see the leaders come through to lap scary guy. Jammy being pressured now by Jules. Jules going for a switch back through the hairpin. Jammy was looking like he was maybe going to stay defensive on the inside, but just uh, decided to back out and let Jules through. Jammy's had a great run out of the chicane. Just backs off. Jules may be able to take a little bit more speed into the corner, having fresh rubber. As we see, Muller has come into the pits ahead and Coolio by looks of it. There's Jammy jumping into the pits. Great drive from Canny so far. I mean, he's down in the uh, start in 12th, I think it was. Never in the fifth uh, after 11 and a half minutes of the race. So, great run from Canny so far. You see Coolio on the fresh rubber looking to go around the outside of Jason. He's right on the tail of Jason and the Honey Badger car. And he's got him through the exit. He's going to pull across onto the racing line. Job done. Great move by Goodio there. Jason really has no response, so he needs to get in and get some tyres. Muller's on fresh tyres, he's coming to lap scary guy again. After he was in his pits, oh, scary guy nearly, nearly collects Muller there. That could have been a nightmare. We see a righty is now into the pits. He's took on a bit of fuel, he's heading out. Where's Muller? Where's Muller? Muller is into the lead. So a great run from Muller in stint one. Put the lap earlier than O'Reilly. Being in second place, he could pit when he wanted, and O'Reilly wouldn't be able to cover him off. So Muller's done the undercut. He's up into first. He's just catching Munro as Munro hit the barrier, get out of the way. Great run from Muller. Great strategy in this opening phase to get himself into the lead of the race. Now just head down and try and pull away from O'Reilly. O'Reilly has more fuel, so maybe can have a touch more tyre wear just due to the added weight. So 
see how they get on with that. Coolio now lapping the two boys behind Munro and Scary Guy. Jason's been in. He's got some new boots on. Let's put him back towards Jules. Jules is on tyres that are a lap or two older. Kenny still hasn't put it in yet. He's looking to push for a one stop and 15 minute mark by looks of it. Would he dive in the slap or would he keep going? That's Kenny into the pits. So that's going to put Jammy up into sixth place. Jammy covering a uh, half second pound zero. See, Kenny exits the pits and Jammy just slots past. Should be an interesting battle between these pair. We've got a yellow flag ahead. Somebody is off the road. Scary guy. Oh, there's a bit of a mix up there between Jammy and Scary Guy going into the corner. Oh! I think Scary Guy just gets a huge bit of lag there and fires him into Canny. Take another look at that. I'm on board with Scary Guy now. Maybe just drifts into Kenny then. Mm. Not good for either of them there, unfortunately. Chill back in the front. We've got Muller still in the lead. Trying to stretch his lead away from O'Reilly in the background now. As we've just gone past the halfway point of the race, so 15 minutes have gone. Muller sets the fastest lap. Very similar, even though Muller was a lap earlier, just with maybe that little bit less fuel, keeping the tyres roughly the same. Coolio is still having a strong drive in third. He's uh, currently on a faster slap. Jules now in fourth. He's got past Jason, who's now down in fifth. He's got the Jammy D right behind him. Still hasn't got rid of that penalty yet. Oh, he's picked up another one. There's another driver that pushes the car to the edge. Bullock now in seventh. Being chased by Boss. We've got more yellow flags. Oh, Jason is facing the wrong way. Let's see what happened to Jason. We're on board with Jason here as we're coming down the hill towards he just gets it on the grass and there's no coming back from that. Just goes a little bit too tight over the brow of the hill, puts the car on the grass. But at that speed it's very difficult to recover. Bullet and Jamie now in. Sorry, it was Bullet and Boss. I was looking at Jamie's in fifth. So Bullet and Boss now sixth and seventh. Bullet's tyres are 
horrendous at <laughs> this stage of the race. Bosses are extremely good, so boss should have tire advantage over Bullet, and with these fast sweeper corners, might make short work of getting past him. We see a puff of dirt coming up from Bullet, ran wide out of that first sweeping left hander. Cameraman, nowhere to be looking. Boss closing up through the corner there, just able to keep the car more under control, more speed. Just sits behind for now. Will he look for it up the inside into the hairpin? He thinks about it, just shows bullet he's there. But stays behind. Well, down to the chicane. Will Bullet dive into the pits? He does. That's going to free Boss. Go after his teammate. Kenny is still trying to recover after his incident with Scary Guy. Ricky in ninth. The uh, sole remaining wrecking ball car now after uh, myself quit out the race after the incident at the start. Here we go. Nightmare Racer, the runner up from last season, not having a particularly fun time in the Ferrari at the moment. Struggling down in 10th, a driver you'd think would be a lot, lot higher up the field. running by himself in 11th. He does have the racing mediums on which will slow him down compared to the rest. So O'Reilly is back into the lead as Muller has jumped into the pits and uh, completes his two stop strategy. Anybody who is two stopping will be stopping in the round. Sorry, this lap or the previous one. Um, 19, 20, 21 minutes. As uh, you see, Jules diving in. Goodio stayed in. Right, he's probably going to have to go in. Uh, Jammy dives in. Bullet comes out behind Jammy. has dropped it. That's a lead canny up through in the seventh. Bullet gets back on the way. He cold tires. Ricky is too far back to take advantage. in the lead Muller just behind him. Already still having his lag issues but uh, a hold in the fastest lap of the race so far. Kudio dives into the pits behind. He's now switched to the super softs for his final stint. Boss into the pits also. Mm -hmm. 
So we're just coming up to 23 minutes gone, 7 minutes left of the race. We've got O'Reilly in first, Muller in second, really pushing us to get past the riding now. Cudio with a great drive in third, but on his own for pretty much most of the race after the lap, maybe two or three. Jules having a solid drive in fourth. Jammy in fifth, so he's got Canny and Boss right behind him in sixth and seventh. Canny isn't one I'm going to be waiting around. The Bullet in eighth. Ricky in ninth. Nightmare in tenth. Monroe in 11th, Scary Guy in 12th. He's now on the, oh, he's on the racing hearts, no wonder he's struggling with that car. Here comes that group of Jammy, Canny and Boss. Some guys have definitely got uh, some wrong ideas with the strategy today. Jammy gives him a little flash and he jumps right out the way. Jammy swoops around the outside and through. Quite a big track for round one. And that's why we're seeing so much space. I've just realised I'm staring at Muller is in the lead of the race. <laughs> Too busy uh, waffling on. Didn't even realise Muller has back past. Alrighty, let's see what happened there. So we're on board of Muller. We've had to jump back to the start of that lap. We're just banks off a little bit. Alrighty, just doesn't seem to get turning. Bags full of understeer or something there, going into entering turn one. And then Muller. We never have a look at that for a bit further out. They get quite close there to turn one. Muller is definitely ahead. Ah. Alrighty, shouldn't have had his. Alrighty, should have backed out there. Kept his nose in, which has uh, really lost him time and momentum. So, we're back with the leaders as they come down towards the complete lap 16. Big boat full of uh, oversteer and lag from O'Reilly. I am not sure what happened there, I don't know if he is ahead or whether that is just lag. I don't quite understand what happened. <laughs> Muller goes looking up the inside of turn one, again carbon copy of the lap previously. Muller back up into the lead, I have no idea what happened there on that little back street. I don't know whether Muller slowed down or O'Reilly just seemed to Tokyo drift past uh, Muller with a bit of lag. All the while this man is creeping a little bit closer. He's starting to see the two guys in front now. So all this battling they're doing up front is only going to bring Kudio closer. He's uh, setting a PB lap, probably spurred on by seeing the guys ahead. Jules is still in a complete world of his own. Dreaming of burgers and power slides. <coughs> Jammy having a great race, he's now in fifth. Also pretty much on his own at the moment. He's got his teammate boss behind him. So great run for Pegasus so far in uh, round one. They've got three cars in tier two. 
one lead in, one in fifth, one in sixth, so going well for Pegasus so far. The big losers in round one so far, I'm not sure what's happening in tier one, but uh, Neon Knights down the back end of the field. They're trying to maybe haven't quite got their setup right, or they're trying to lull everyone into a false sense of security. They've won the uh, first three seasons of this championship quite easily. Bullet now in seventh. Cali in eighth. Ricky in ninth. Nightmare is in tenth. Munro in eleventh. And scary guy in twelfth. Just took that corner a bit too tight. Muller is now starting to catch up with Nightmare Racer, I think, to lap him. <coughs> For the last two minutes of the race, Nightmare just pulls offline and slows down. Very good awareness there from Nightmare. Allows Muller to keep going. And Coolio is now past the righty. Oh, righty must be having a shock. And look at those tyres. No wonder he's past them. All right, he's really got his uh, strategy wrong in round one. He literally has no tire left on that uh, back right. As he coming into these long, he can't hold the car in. It's just trying to drift out on him. Lacking in grip quite severely now compared to the other cars. Jules may have a shout depending on uh, Riley having any issues. Jules might have a shout of jumping on the podium here. From having to race all by himself, Jules' race could come alive in this final minute. Jules is too far behind. They might not get another lap in. Muller is gonna get one more lap. Fantastic drive from Coolio now in second. I said, I don't think that is his right livery, but uh, he's in second and going well. Jules has caught right up now in the background. Muller is just gonna... Nope, he's not gonna make it, so Muller wins round one. Coolio takes second. Alrighty, taking third. Jules in fourth. Jammy and Boss are gonna come home in fifth and sixth. Bullet in seventh. Canny in eighth. Ricky in ninth. Nightmare's already finished in 10th. Monroe is going to finish 11th. The scary guy finished in 12th. So that was round one of season four from Kyoto Driving Park of DRFS. Join us next week for round two with some more action from this uh, Ferrari Challenge DRFS season four. Thanks very much. Bye for now.